Hello everyone, welcome back. In the previous class, we learned about o'clock and half past clocks. Okay, what is time then? Time is the ongoing sequence of events taking place in our day-to-day -day life. Okay, let us take an example of Raju. Raju wants to celebrate his birthday on February 2nd. What he did? He called his friends two days back and he along with his parents bought a new dress from the shop and then on the day of his birthday he and his parents decorated their house. Now all the friends came and the relatives joined but his grandfather wants Raju to cut his cake at quarter to six. Do you know what is quarter to six? He too doesn't know. Let us learn what is it. And then we will make him cut at quarter to six. We have already learned that if the minute hand moves from 12 to 6, that is half way if it is travelled, it means that half past. Now, let us see more divisions in the clock. Look at this clock. The right hand side shows past and the left hand side shows 2. So, this is half past 6 and you know it already. What is the new? It is quarter past. What is quarter? We have already learned in fractions if the circle is divided into four equal parts, each equal part will be a quarter. Now look at this. The minute hand is pointing to three. It means that the minute hand travelled from twelve to three quarter minutes it has moved. So what is the time now? It is quarter past one. Now, you can say in numbers, it is 115. Yes. Now, let us move to the next one. Here, the minute hand is pointing to 3 and the hour hand is pointing to 4. It means that 415 or quarter past 4. This is quarter past 7 or 7.15. Now, let us see the another part of the clock. I have already told the right hand side is past and the left hand side is 2. Now, coming to the left hand side, if the minute hand is pointing to 9, we mark it as with 2. Here, at the picture, it is only quarter minutes to move to the next time. That is the next number. So, the time will be quarter to two. But we mention in numbers as 145. Remember the difference. When we are saying in words, we mention it with the next number, quarter two. So, look at the hour hand. It is nearing to the next number. The small hand is nearing to 2. So, you can easily say that it is quarter to 2. Coming to the next example, it is 6.45. But how will you say in words? It is quarter to 7. Yes, now coming to the next one, it is 8.45. How to say in words? It is quarter to nine. And this is quarter to five. That is 4.45. Now, we can easily say at what time Raju has to cut his cake. Quarter to six. That is 5.45. In this video, you learned the difference between past and to. Now, look at these examples also. 
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग